Welcome to Kerr 9000's Horror House. A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, is a 1989 American slasher film. It's the fifth instalment in the Nightmare on Elm Street series and once again stars Lisa Wilcox as Alice and of course Robert Englund is back as Freddy Krueger. This film continues on from the last two films directly, making them the sort of Nightmare on Elm Street trilogy. Sure, all of them connect through the character of Freddy, but these directly follow each other. I don't want to spoil too much of this movie, but I will say that the plot follows Kruger returning and using a now pregnant Alice Johnson's baby's dreams to claim new victims. In my opinion, the film's general tone is much darker than that of the previous two films, and the film which comes after it, in effect. Whether this is a good or bad thing will depend largely on your preferences. When it comes to your mix of humour and horror, we all land a little bit differently. This film has the honour of being one of the final slasher films released in the 1980s, being released on August the 11th, 1989. It grossed 22.1 million on a budget of 8 million, which doesn't sound too bad, but was a steep decline in box office receipts from Dream Warriors and The Dream Master. It also did not do very well with the movie critics of the time, receiving mostly negative reviews. So how do I feel about it? Well, I consider it a worthy entry in the Elm Street franchise, and I think it does add a fair degree to the nightmare lore. For example, the phrase, Son of a Hundred Maniacs. Once again, I think Lisa Wilcox does a standout job as a leading lady. And Robert Englund, well he just is Freddy Krueger, it's hardly like he's acting, it's more like he's channeling this demonic, carefree prankster spirit from some dark nether realm. The man's performance is in darn near every TV show and film he's been in. Well, they just, they have a believability to them, which gives the characters he has portrayed a life of their own. I'd rate this as one of the lesser Nightmare on Elm Street films, but I still think, even with that said, it's still a darn fine horror film which any fan of horror should watch. There's some cool deaths in there, and it's got Freddy Krueger, what more do you need? Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this review, boys and ghouls. It's Kerr9000 signing off saying, Welcome to prime time, bitch! <laughs>